Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and this video is the continuation of my previous restlet video. In previous restlet video, we have learned about creating and retrieving the data with the help of Postman and restlet. And now in this video, I will show you just a second. I will show you how to delete the data, delete a record. First of all, I have again reset here the client ID. I will copy this and paste it here. then copy this hole i will put it here now see here here you will see the code yes the code we received here control c and then come to the postman first here we will copy this code as per our previous procedure authorization code okay in the authorization part we will enter the integration clients id okay and then the password here is the secret then press send button now we will get the access token and refresh token right this is the normal procedure and then i will copy this i will copy this refresh token here and then again i will go to the body part here is refresh token here i will put the refresh token and then this will also be changed and then send now see here we get the access token now again this access token will be copied and then we will come to another tab here we have selected delete this is the rest late url and this is the record type and this is the id now we will put here in the authorization bearer token that access token will be used as a bearer token and in this way, if you see here, ID 135, now I'm going to delete something. Let me list. <clears throat> Let's delete this 338 record, right? 338. Now, this is the URL given by the restlet when we create the restlet. Let me show you that restlet. This is the URL. After that, I have added the record type and and the id now i will send it 338 that means this record has been deleted 338 i will refresh it 338 let's delete one more 237 237 deleted see here i will refresh it yes now let's have a quick recap first of all what we have done we have reset the id client id and client secret using this url we have replaced the client id and then we get the code that code will be used as a code in the postman here in the postman and after that getting the access token and refresh token we will again change this and in the authorization part we will use the client id and client password and once after using this refresh token here we will get the access token and that access token will be used as a bearer code and after that we will just write down here the url the record type and the id that we need to delete and here we will select the delete so in this way we delete the record with the help of postman so guys i hope uh, this will be another uh, most important video for you so till then in our next video we will see how to manipulate scheduled script so till then keep watching my videos and keep practicing netsuite and if any doubt is there please write down in the comment box i will try to resolve it so till then goodbye and uh, subscribe my video subscribe my channel thank you